Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Drodis, Bible teacher and preacher, and you have tuned into my YouTube channel, Solving the Prophetic Puzzle. We are the fig tree generation. Jesus called us that in Matthew chapter 24, verse 32, he said, Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branches has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know full that it is near. It is at the door. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Jesus said that the generation that sees the fig tree begin to blossom and bloom. The fig tree is represented by the nation of Israel. Israel, for 2,000 years, was scattered throughout the entire world. Yet in one day, May 14, 1948, Israel was brought back as a nation. Israel became a nation again. Since that time, we have seen prophetic uh, prophecy, prophetic signs unfold, and they are accelerating as, as the, the years go by faster and faster. We are seeing more and more signs uh, pointing toward the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Israel became a nation, was the beginning of this. Then Jerusalem became the capital of Israel. We see wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Plagues, famines, natural disasters. Yeah, we've always had these things, but not with such intensity and, and such frequency. I woke up today and I, I heard on the news that there, was a her, that there was a tornado that traveled for over 200 miles and went through four states. I've never heard of such a tornado before. I never heard of such a thing. We are seeing natural disasters occur with more intensity and more frequency. Within the last year, when I started this YouTube ministry, we have seen nations being shut down. Millions of deaths due to the plague. A coin shortage. Inflation. The push towards using, uh, not using cash a cashless society. I experience this all the time. I like to pay with cash, but it seems that the cashiers who, are, who, who, who um, I'm working with, they don't want to accept the money. They would rather not accept cash. I don't know if it's because they don't have the, the, the right change or they don't know how to count change or they feel that the money is, is dirty and they don't want to touch it. I don't understand that. But you're seeing more and more a cash, a push towards a cashless society. We're seeing increase of surveillance. We're seeing inflation rise. We're seeing chips being implanted into human beings. We talked about this on this YouTube channel, the 10 story a holographic statue that appears to talk and breathe, and it can be any image someone programs it to be. We, that's out there. On and on it goes. We are seeing signs in the heavens, signs on the earth, signs under the earth. Earthquakes and volcanoes are intensifying. I predict that volcano and volcanic action and activity will begin to increase in the next months and years. And now the latest sign. Wait, do you hear this one? There is a new statue. It sits on the visitor's plaza outside the UN headquarters. It's called the Guardian for International Peace and Security. You got to see this statue. I wish I could, could show you on, on the computer. I just don't know how to do something like that. But you can look at it on the internet. You can Google the Guardian for International Peace and Security. It's outside the UN headquarters. This statue, it is of a, of a huge lion or tiger or a cougar or a jaguar. It's a big cat, ferocious cat with fangs. It has two wings like an eagle. Its feet look like bear paws. 
and it seems to have a dragon's tail. This is sitting outside the UN headquarters. Daniel chapter, let me read something to you from the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7, verse 4. The first was like a lion. This is a vision that Daniel saw. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. I watched till its wings were plucked off and it was lifted up from the earth. This was a vision that Daniel saw of the end times. Now, let me read to you Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. Revelation 13, verse 2. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his throne in great authority. Revelation chapter 13, verse 7. And it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given to him over every tribe and tongue and nation. And all who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, of course, they have an explanation of this statue of peace and security. They say it's a, it's a symbol of an Aztec warrior. This statue that looks like a lion, that has wings of an eagle, the tail of a dragon, multicolored, various colors, standing in front of the UN building. I understand that, but you gotta wonder. This beast statue is in front of the UN and they call it the guardian for international peace and security. First Thessalonians chapter five, I'm, I'll, I'll leave you with this verse. But concerning the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness. So that day should overtake you as a thief. You are sons of the light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. This sign is just another sign or this statue is just another sign that we are so close to the beginning of what Daniel refers to as the 70th week. The year, the seven year tribulation period, years of chaos. And if we're so close to that, then we're all the much more closer to the rapture. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Get ready. Hey, thank you for watching. I appreciate all your likes and comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Keep watching because we always have something new to talk about as we continue to solve the prophetic puzzle. God bless you.